talking about staying safe in the kitchen. So we're joined by Jamie Song from the Honolulu Fire Department, because this is Fire Prevention Week, and it's cooking safety starts with you, that's the theme. Good morning to you, Jamie. Good morning. So just in general, the most common fire that you have, is it from cooking food? Yeah, cooking fires are the leading cause of house fires and house fire injuries, and unattended cooking is the leading cause of cooking fires and deaths across the United States. All right, so the number one rule is that you would never leave your house while you're cooking something. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, that would be really bad. <laughs> yeah, so the main thing is if you're cooking in the kitchen, not just staying in your house, but stay in the kitchen. And okay. if you need to run away for some reason, answer the door, tend to your kids, we turn off the burner. Um, I also set a timer because sometimes you don't you don't realize you're going to get distracted and maybe you do so that timer will remind you oh you have something on the stove yeah because you don't want it to burn right <laughs> yeah my smoke alarm is really sensitive so i mean i'm glad that you have a smoke alarm in your house that's a, another suggestion we have for people a right. smoke detector in every room on every floor and check it every month so if you are cooking do you have some tips on what to do to make sure you can stay safe in the kitchen? Yeah, so if you're cooking, something simple that you can incorporate into your day-to-day -day routine is to make sure that your pot handle is turned towards the back or away from your working hand, like I'm right-handed, so you don't inadvertently hit the handle and knock over your pot or pan and cause injury. Or anyone walking by might knock it over, right, so they right. don't do that. Um, another trick is if you're frying and you, and you might have a grease fire, I like to have either the lid or even a baking sheet will work. So if you do have a grease fire, you can just slide a, a baking pan or the lid over and you wanna leave it in place, essentially suffocating the fire and then turn off heat and of course call 911 if you have a fire. And the same idea is for um, your oven. If you have an oven fire, keep that door shut and just turn it off. How quickly can these grease fires get out of control? They can, they can spread pretty quickly. You know, cooking fires can spread pretty quickly. Um, we talked about before we came on air, water. A lot of people might just panic and put water on a grease fire, which will make things much worse. So again, a lid or a baking sheet and turning off the heat. Okay, anything else yeah. you wanna add for this week? Yeah, just keeping a safe zone. I've got a small cakey, so three oh. foot zone for your pets. I think you have a pet. And, I do? Yeah, and your cakey, and you can even mark it with painter's tape. So they have a visual, oh. so the kids know you have to stay out of the zone when yes. mom is cooking. Yeah, it's always, you know, when you're opening the oven and stuff, it's always a little bit scary. So yeah, that's keep a good a, idea. Keep a safe zone. And I don't, just, know, I don't and know if the dog will adhere to the tape. <laughs> oh, that would be an extra, extra training. <laughs> okay, we'll work on that. Okay. All right, Jamie Song for H&D. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.